Well, Bob, Kelly, just take a look at all these people who have gathered here behind me. They are wandering through the thousands of flags that are on display here at the Healing Field, just across from the Sandy City Hall. Each flag representing a life lost on that fateful day 22 years ago. The Sandy City Fire Chief tells me it only took minutes for the volunteers needed to come forward and want to continue to put up this display that so many visitors say was surprisingly emotional. Very moving. An emotional walk for many through the thousands of flags that fly here at the Healing Field in Sandy in honor of the lives lost in the terror attacks of 9-11 22 years ago. Beautiful and just enjoyed reading all the cards, the tributes to all the sweet souls that we lost. It's beautiful. Debbie from Murray comes every year, bringing her friend from Denver for this visit. It might not look much from the outside. You get walking in there and there's so many flags and so many names. And it's everywhere from a delivery man to the president of a company that has died because of this tragedy. It's kind of a lot more, I guess, sharing it with my son now and just like it's part of history, but just a lot of, a lot of emotions, I guess. Yeah, I know, it's hard. Seems weird since I was like 13 when it happened, but I guess now as an adult and understanding it. Stephanie from Sandy was here trying to explain the significance of that day to her four-year-old son, remembering how unified the country was in the days and weeks that followed. We should remember and hopefully teach our our kids and our young children the significance of this day and what it means. Rob Thomas from Ogden is a firefighter with Unified and says for him this is very personal. It's a very special day for me. I, I like to remember uh, the 343, uh, our brothers in fire that, that paid the ultimate price. They're heroes to me and they should always be remembered. People do forget that these rescuers went in willingly and would again and they're suffering from serious health issues from Ground Zero. Melissa Ross from Harriman says their family still pays a price from her father's service and sacrifice that came in the days after 9-11. My dad ser um, served on the urban search and rescue team. He led a team to 9-11. Michael Riley seen here while working the pile of debris, something Melissa says has caused him and his first responders serious health issues. My dad has a brain tumor from it. Um, he buried someone really near and dear to his heart that went with him. Um, and served on the urban search and rescue team. And these men would do it again. They are modern day heroes. And there were so many heroes that emerged that day, 22 years later, and we still remember. I was there working as a reporter that day. I was actually assigned to the World Trade Center. I was supposed to be there that afternoon covering the mayoral primary races. Of course, I ran into work that morning and covered those terrible attacks towers going down and the response that came that day and the days that followed. Just as the name indicates here, there is a somber feeling and it is healing here at the healing fields in Sandy. Just amazing to see the people walk around with their kids, with their pets, as families remembering what happened now more than two decades ago. Live at the healing field in Sandy, Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.